mod we're going over is Minecraft Forge. It's just kind of like a uh, mod loader. You have to find out how it installs with each mod that you want to do. There's always different ways to install it a little bit. But um, this is something a lot of guys want to see how to use it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. And then it's up to the mod that you want on how it's supposed to be installed. So get back to me if you're having trouble with certain mods with it. And um, I'll do the videos on it. All right. So um, let's get to the backup and then we'll take it to the, um, the installation. All right. See you in a second. All right, guys. Welcome back. This part of the tutorial right now is going to show you how to back up your Minecraft so you don't lose anything when you're trying to install this mod. If you already know how to do that, it's very simple to you. You watched a lot of my videos before. You can just skip ahead to how to install the mod. First thing we're going to do right now is go down to the start menu and we're going to click on it, do percent app data percent. That will bring you to your Roman file. Click on the Roman file. That'll bring you to your dot Minecraft. Double click on that. And you look down this whole list right here. This is all the stuff, how your Minecraft was just before you touched anything. You come over here, you right click, go to new, go to folder. They'll give you a folder, you put it right in your desktop so you know exactly where it is all the time. Open up that folder, take everything that's in here, drag it over. And now you have your save here. You go down to your saves, right? Copy that, paste it in. That's all your world saves. You go down to texture packs. If you have anything that's 16 bit texture packs, it'll still work. Anything else you need to put in um, MC Patcher, or you'll have to use like Optifine to use them. But if you have a 16 one bit ones, you can put those in there. So when you, you can just start it up and you're ready to go. Then you want to highlight your last login. Copy that and paste it in. Make sure you're copying and pasting everything in. And then you want to do your server data. And your server data is obviously all the servers you play on. So that's like the four things you probably want to you want to bring over with you. Any mods or anything else might not work with the mod we're doing today. So you're going to have to do trial and error. But I just want you to know how to put this mod in and make sure this mod works. Then after that, you can try to test out other mods. It's, you know, some of them don't work together, so you got to see what happens. So you leave this up here. You go down, you start your Minecraft up. Always have your Minecraft closed anytime you touch your .minecraft files. Log in, because you are uh, kept your last login. You can move this over a little bit. This shows you everything. You get the Mojang sign, all this stuff starts to come back. And you get everything in there, it's good. Hit quick game. And then what you want to do just before you go, so you're ready to start modding. Hit your bin, right? Click on your .minecraft, make sure it's your Minecraft.jar, not Minecraft 1.3, 2.5, 4.7, just whatever it is. Just click on the Minecraft.jar one. And you're gonna open with 7-zip or WinRAW, whatever you're using your archiver. You go down to your meta INF folder, meta inf, highlight that, and delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I want to delete. Now, right now, you set up, you're in your Minecraft.jar, you're ready to install, you're ready to install mods, so let's get to it. Alright guys, welcome back. First thing we're going to do is go over to the forum page here. This is the link it brings you to when you go to the forum page. I'm just going to give you this link. This is the website they have set up now. What you have to do is make sure you're on the home page, which you'll get that right away, and go to releases. Click on there. And um, these are all the releases for Minecraft Forge. All you got to do is click on the latest version, whatever it is. It looks like Forge downloads is absolutely the same every time. Exactly, so you don't have to um, worry about it at all. You go to Universal here, add flyer direct. Usually, you do add flyer to help out the mod maker. Click on there, it'll download, take you through a little ad. You support the mod maker, it's really cool. If you add Google Chrome, it'll pop up down here. Anywhere else, just go into like your start and go into your computer, I think, and then go into like downloads, and then you'll see all your downloads. All right, so um, after you're done with that. Pull it out to your desktop so you have it out here. And then what you want to do is do percent app data percent. When you do that, it'll bring up your Roman file. Click on your Roman file. That'll bring you to your dot Minecraft. Double click on that. That thing is your bin resources saves, all the stuff here. What you want to do is go into your bin, 
they give you a minecraft.jar make sure that you're in your minecraft.jar not minecraft 1.2 1.2.5 whatever it is the regular minecraft.jar if you don't have anything that says .jar but you have a minecraft one that means you just don't have your file extensions open don't worry about that just click on your minecraft one right click with that open with 7-zip or you can use WinRAR, whatever you want to use if you didn't do the backup which I suggest you definitely do I showed you at the end how to delete your in file so come in here delete your uh, meta in file the mods won't work without that and that's all done there pull this to the side then what you want to do is after you have this pulled over pull out your minecraft forge go to open with open archive with 7-zip then this is your minecraft forge just go all the way down to the bottom make sure yeah there you go make sure you're down to the bottom just drag all the way up make sure you got every folder highlighted bring it into your class files here where it says classes don't put them up there because they might go into the wrong file and mess everything up so drop them down here they say you sure you want to copy these files to your archiver say yes everything's copied nice and simple exit out of all this stuff there are no more steps to do you just start up your minecraft just log in you'll see down yeah down in this corner it's starting to set up everything for forge that happens every single time you log in and then right down on the bottom here it says minecraft forge the version you're using for the minecraft version you're using everything's fine everything's in there now you just have to find the mods you want get back to me and then we'll go from there all right guys thanks so much for watching please remember to rate comment and subscribe and until next time peace this video is part of the way movement a career path in video sponsored by tgn to learn more visit tgn.tv